I wanted to gain more confidence with my drawing and visualizing skills because visualizing in service design is super important, but I'm not naturally somebody who is comfortable drawing. So I set up a 30 day challenge to draw something related to service design every single day. I put the challenge online and within three days, 300 people uh, decided to participate in this. So that was quite interesting. In this quick video, I wanna um, share with you some of the biggest lessons that I learned um, of drawing, taking six minutes uh, every day to draw a service design concept. So if you know, don't know the background story, um, on October 1st, Giovanni Rello, fellow service designer, and I uh, started a drawing challenge where we would post uh, a concept related to service design every single day uh, in a closed community. And you had six minutes to draw the concept. Now, fast forward 30 days later, the challenge is over. What I experienced around halfway through the challenge is that um, I started to get uh, comfortable with my drawing style. So the best way I can uh, compare this to is, is just like hearing your own voice on a recording for the first few times. It sounds really awkward and you have to get used to hearing your own voice on camera, uh, on audio. And I felt the same with my drawing style. So because when I was drawing, I was looking at my picture, pictures and I was thinking this looks crap, this looks childish, uh, a lot of people are so much better at it. But at some point, I think it was around halfway, uh, I, f I became used to it. It was like, okay, so this is sort of my visual, visual voice and uh, I became much more confident about sharing it and just drawing, not overthinking it. And what also helped was that we just had six minutes to do each challenge. Now, what also contributed to this is we had this closed community where people would share their drawings after they were done. And you could look at the other uh, contributions and see that most people aren't extremely good uh, visual artists. And that sort of brings down uh, the expectation level you have for yourself. I think that's the other challenge with visualizing. Um, you see all those uh, magnificent drawings, like the cool visual artists, and you think, I can never do that. But that's not the point. The point is to bring a message across. And when you see other people who are similar to you, also visualizing and using, let's, let's call them um, quite low fidelity visualizations, then you sort of become much more comfortable. Okay, uh, this level is just good enough. And that was really confident for me. I don't know how the other people experienced it, but uh, seeing uh, sort of the detail in the visualization of others uh, really helped me to get confident about my visualizing style. So that was the 30 day challenge. My next um, challenge is how could I continue drawing when I'm done? So the challenge is now over, but I don't, I still don't feel that uh, drawing is a habit that, um, that I have in all the aspects that I do. I don't make visual notes. I don't uh, draw in my videos, for instance. And that is, I think, something that I could benefit much more of. So um, that's the next thing I'm thinking about, how to make this into a habit. And um, what I think is that this challenge provided a really good excuse to just draw. You had, you had an assignment, you had a challenge, you had an excuse to draw. In uh, a lot of other cases, you don't have that excuse and you just have to do it naturally. So I'll be thinking about what kind of excuse can I introduce in my own life so that I will start visualizing more. So that's sort of the wrap up of my experience with a 30 day drawing challenge. Uh, it was awesome to see all the contributions from uh, the other participants. I want to thank Giovanni for also participating in this and helping me to set, set this up. If you think that this would be interesting to you or you know somebody who might be interested in this, we're going to do a second round uh, of this challenge. It will probably be, uh, be early 2021. If you want to get on the waiting list and be notified when the um, 
registration opens, head over to servicedesignshow.com slash 30 day and I'll send you a notification once registration is open. So I'll be trying to draw more, I'll be trying to visualize more um, and I hope it does the same for you.